Yo, what's up everyone? So I just want to make a real quick video. I'll try to make this as fast as possible. Uh, basically, I did something different these last couple months and my sales process, and it's just been getting really good results. So I wanted to share it with you guys. Uh, so, well, real quick, basically a sales process is the whole process from getting the lead and talking to a potential client, whether it's a referral, uh, you know, something that came through your website all the way to the closing stage. So it would be like you get the lead, talk to the client, consultation meeting, proposal contract, and going through that phase. So I shared my process a few months ago and uh, somebody pointed out I had one part of it that was not really working well and that I should change. So what I did was I made a quick change. I did something that was very easy and I automated it. And the results I've been getting has been, it's been awesome. It's been like really, really good. You know, like, like my, uh, going from lead to proposal, like the rate of it is like almost, it's like well over 90%. So I've been getting good results. I want to share with you guys. So let me go ahead and try to make this quick. All right. I got a keynote here set up. So real quick, I'm going to show you, this is my previous uh, process. Step number one, this is where we would get the lead. Either it would come from our website and ad, or uh, most of the time it would also be a referral. Uh, step number two, this is where we would make the introduction call with the client. We would try to make it around 15, 30 minutes. It would be short, but basically I was trying to get all the information about the project. Uh, and the thing is, it's like before I could really consult or really like uh, uh, give advice or suggestions or or strategy to a client i need to understand their their problem i need to understand their brand i need to understand their business who they are who their uh target market or customers are so i need to have a full understanding and in order to do this i got to do some due diligence in preparing before coming in it doesn't have to be massive but some I, I need to have an understanding and I would get thrown off sometimes you know sometimes it would be a small uh, mom and pop shop that just needed a small boutique website but sometimes I would get thrown you know like curveball it could be somebody like no we want something big it's custom built it's a platform and it was just like oh wow I wasn't expecting this so I would like to get that information so I could do my due diligence and plan for the discovery. And that would be the third step. The third step would be uh, discovery. It would it would be like more in depth. This is where we would talk about the brand. I would uh, find out about their goals. I would find out about what problems they are having so that way I could see what we could actually do to help solve their problems and challenges that they're having. having. And so after I get all that information, then I got an idea scope. I got an idea how big the client is, how big their, their problem is, and how big of a solution I have to build for them. And then with this, I could give you know a, a proper proposal, a proper quote timeline, and know exactly what to do. So this was, I guess, okay, but Step two is where I was falling short right there, taking that extra phone call. So going from that first 15 minute call, I was spending a lot of time. The client had to spend time and then trying to get them on a call again just to, you know, have a discovery. It was a harder sell. So what we did was we cut that one out. And here's how our new sales process looks. And as you can see, there's still four steps right here. But the difference is on step two, we do not do a 15, 30 minute uh, introduction call. Instead, I have I have already something built out. Let me show it to you. All right, gotta get out of this. So basically it is an email template that I already have set up with the Calendly link. And let me show you how it works. So I would get a lead, it would come to us. Uh, I would get the email saying, hey, you know, we're looking for a website. So I would have this lead right here and it's a simple copy and paste. So I would copy this one right here. And as you can see, it says, hello, blank. I would fill in the blank. Uh, this is Jeffrey here with Lightbox Digital. Thank you for reaching out to us about your project. Then I would add just one line of something personal about like maybe what they said, like maybe they needed an e-commerce website for beauty products. So I would add a little something there. Uh, and then I would go on with, I keep it short and sweet. See, I just want to keep it short and sweet. 
Uh, it would be great to schedule an initial consultation call so we could get to learn about your project and see if it's something that we can help you out with. And here's a link to schedule. And this link right here and using Calendly has been a game changer. To see that the challenge is, let me go back here. The challenge is, and the reason why on step two, I wasn't getting too much information. It, I'm sure a lot of you know, if you have a contact form on your website, and the customer or the client has to fill out like 20 different fields, you're gonna lose a majority of people. Like if you see heat maps and how users interact with contact forms, like just about all heat maps have like 50% less people that actually click on the submit button. Like people fill it out, but stop between hitting submit. But then you got some contact forms that are just like drop down selections. You know, they want to know your first name, your last name, your phone number, your address. They want to know all these informations. And what usually happens is somebody might start with it, but then they stop with it. So we always want to keep contact forms like name, email, uh, message. Keep it as simple as possible. You get the most leads. So that was the challenge right there. You know, we couldn't do that on our website, but we needed that information for the discovery call. So we use Calendly now for this. So on our template that we copy and paste to our leads, they have this link. And let me go ahead and go to this link right here. And now they have a link where they can schedule a meeting with us. And let's say they schedule a meeting for next Wednesday, uh, next Wednesday at, yeah, my, my speech. I have a speech impediment, so I don't know if making videos was, you know, <laughs> how it's going to go having a speech impediment, but hey, this is, this is me. I'm going to give it a shot. Okay, anyways, so on Calendly, they schedule their time, and when they schedule their time, this is where I capture all the information. So in here, I capture their name, their email, their phone number, uh, their business name. I want to know that because that way I could do research on Facebook, on LinkedIn. I can get to know really how big is their business just by that. Uh, their website address. I want to know their company size. Uh, company size does determine the scope of a project and the budget as well. Uh, we want to know more about you know their business. We want to know what kind of services they're looking for. Is it web design, development, e-commerce, UI, UX? Uh, we want to know where they're located and we want to know their budget. And this bit of information, it's not too much, but it's enough for me to go ahead and go right into a discovery meeting and prepare myself. Uh, the thing is, what I found out why this is working is because even though someone might, you know, people are more hesitant to not fill out the form on their website, when they get an email and once they click on that invite link, they're already sold into having that meeting. They're already there. They're ready to schedule a meeting and talk with you. Or they're ready to talk with us. And I would say maybe 95, 97% of people that I've sent this email to have followed through and scheduled a meeting with me. So it's working. Uh, this has been the game changer right here. Uh, it's very, and it's also saving me lots of time because I just copy and paste. It's all set up. Uh, Calendly, there's free accounts there. I think you could build like three different custom links on it with the free account or a paid account. The paid account is also worth it because it's 10 bucks. And with the paid account though, when they finish, let me go back here. Say they fill out all this right here. When they finish and click schedule event, like it's already in my calendar. And if you have the paid event, you can connect your Zoom account with it. So the Zoom meeting is also already set up. Like everything is set up. It is like, it has saved so much time. It's fully automated. Uh, but the best part about it is we get more people going to the finish line uh, where it is, you know, writing the proposals and even seeing if it's a project that we want to do. Uh, let me go back here, make sure we covered everything. And uh, yeah, that's it. The step two changed everything. We get all the information. Then we could go right into uh, 
the discovery call, consultation call, uh, able to be a lot more productive and get more out of it in a shorter amount of time. And then uh, the final step, which would be the proposal. Uh, we would write the proposal, you know, uh, timeline, costs, all that stuff. And if they agree on it, we write a contract, get a deposit, and project is closed. Okay, I hope this helps out. You know, uh, Calendly with Zoom, with uh, email template, put into your, your sales process it is a killer combination. It, it gets, it's gets it got us a lot of results. Uh, give it a try. And if you have something that's also working for you in your sales process, uh, let us know. You know, drop it down in the comments. That way, you know, I'm, I'm sure some things work better for others. So, you know, the more that we get, you know, I'm always looking to learn and also grow our process and automate it, speed it up, save myself and the client a lot more time. All right, that's it. Thanks.